Well, it's another beautiful day at the range, but you know what? I think Aaron's actually lost his mind because he said we're gonna do some clay shooting today. And I show up and he's got this 6.5 Creedmoor here. Does not look like we're set up to shoot clays. Oh, we're gonna shoot some clays, Steve. We're gonna use this AR-10. The 6.5 Creedmoor is what it's the caliber. <laughs> and shoot clays at 200 yards. I don't even see a trap. I way, got it set up out there. Way down 200 yards? 200 yards. No. I told you. He done lost his mind. It's happening. I'm going to do this. I'm going to shoot a clay out of the air at 200 yards. You don't think I have anything better to do today than just sit here and watch you shoot at clays 200 no, you, yards you're out? you're going to get a suntan on, the, on your shoulders and stuff here while I shoot. Uh, that sounds like a fun day to me. Yeah, you not can bad. You suntan and run cameras. I'll do the shooting. All right. Show me what you're working with. <laughs> All right. All right. For the ammunition that we're going to shoot here today, we got the Winchester Expedition. Big game. I already said it's a 6.5 Creedmoor, 142 grain. We have an APF target model 6.5 Creedmoor AR-10 with a Vortex Razor HD rifle scope. Sweet scope. You've actually seen this combination in our AR trick shots video from 2017. And today we're also going to shoot a suppressor on here. We have an Omega suppressor from Silencer Co. Because it's nice to have a quieter gun. Especially when you're going to be shooting as much as you are today. Oh no, I'm not going to shoot that many times. I'm just going to nail it right off the bat. Get this camera work done, video work done. I think we'll be here all day. But <laughs> hey, I hate to be the Debbie Downer. Uh, I want to be positive, Steve. So I'll run the cameras, you load up, and let's get to it. I got a mag ready to go. Comment below if you think Aaron can do it. Do you think he can? <laughs> So you're set at 10 power. This is a 27 power scope. How can we just stay at 10? So that I can see the clay. Otherwise, it's just going to come right through my uh, field of view. All right. I might try and adjust it a little bit. In fact, now is a good time. We've shot a few rounds. Let's make an adjustment. Well, you have. I haven't shot any. I've been shooting. Well, hurry up and get this, because I am dying to try this. Of course, we need to remind people here, right? This is a 6.5 Creedmoor or any rifle. If you shoot it in the air, you got to know where that bullet's going. Right. Any idea how far a 6.5 Creedmoor would travel if you shot it just up in the sky? Miles and miles. A long ways. So we got a safe backdrop that we're shooting down and into, into a swamp, a uh, cattail swamp. Yeah, I'd like to launch that clay way up in the air. Yeah. We just can't do that. Nope. Very, very limited with our shots here because <laughs> we don't have miles and miles. All right, you got this. got that shot. We were out here trying to shoot at 200 yards. It took a few more than <laughs> it took two hands. Uh, our hands and our feet and plus <laughs> a few more. But you know what? Holy smokes. I mean, feet of variation between throws. Oh man. You know, I had the scope on every single clay and I was watching the trees behind and I mean, one clay would, just the wind would change a little bit. One clay would be over here. The next clay would be on this side of the scope. And you're talking about I mean, not just shooting a four inch target that's sitting there, but shooting one that's coming out like this. Exactly. Your, your margin on, of error on the height is literally an inch and a half, maybe. You know, when you think about these shots, you're like, well, we'll just throw it up. And as it starts to crest and, and stop, we'll just shoot it right at the peak. But it turns out so much more difficult than that. So many more variables. Uh, that was awesome. Very cool, man. Nice work. Thanks. Okay, now it's about to get crazy. Now is where it gets insane, because Aaron said 200, great! <laughs> Let's go for 300. Let's move it back. So we're back here, 300 yards. Whew. One clay target, 6.5 Creedmoor. Man, 
if you can get this. You this, believe in me, right? What do you think the record is for longest shot on a flying clay target? I have This no could idea. be it. This could be it. This I don't know. might be it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if he can get it done. Cool. 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 Yeah! Woo! <laughs> 300 yards! Oh! Way out of the air in what? Less than five shots? Less than five shots, I think. Yeah! Hey! 300 yards, less than five shots. Woo! That's awesome! Did you notice I was up by the table while you took that shot? No, I was I was busy shooting. I had my Ignite in my Yeti and I had to come get it. Uh, he's going to take all afternoon to get this shot. That's what you were thinking, wasn't it? And I'm it? pretty sure I got back in time to hit record on that camera. If not, <laughs> if not. Okay, so answer me this. 200 took a while. And now 300, four shots. How can you do 304 shots? Well, you got to figure out the process. You know, I was adjusting my technique and what I was using to get on the clay and how I was following it. And uh, I learned a lot in the practicing at 200 yards. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it was not that bad at 300. The hard part about 300 that I had to adjust, even though I only took a few shots, was the time, the bullet flight path and how much time there was. There's a delay. So you have to shoot where the clay is going to be, just like if you're shooting clays with a shotgun. But the further out you go, the longer that time is, you've got to judge that clay a little bit differently. And you actually have to think of it like shotgunning. Well, man, oh man, that was a lot of fun for you. It was fun for me. And hopefully fun for you, but not so much for me. I'm ready to shoot, so let's close this video down. But before we do, we got to say special thanks to Vortex Optics, Alec Pro Firearms. And speaking of which, we got a special giveaway with this video. Check the link below for details on what you could win and how to enter. And if they haven't done so already, they should probably subscribe because we got a lot more great content coming. You can do that right down here, or you can watch our latest videos or watch me snipe clays with the 223 shooting double trap right over here. Till next time, guys, remember it's impossible to hit the shots you never take. So pull that trigger and shoot for your dreams, even at 300 yards. See ya!